What's happening guys? Today we're going to be touching on reverse ASIN keyword searches. And if you're not familiar, this is a way that you can extract all your competitors best performing keywords from their actual listings. Even those that have been there a long time, they've already done keyword research, they've already done lots of PPC and tweaking and fiddling with keywords, you're going to be able to see what they're ranking and making the most sales for and then make sure you're using those on your own listing for when you launch your product. So you can see on screen we're actually still on Magnet which we touched on in the last session. I'm going to show you how to get to Cerebro from Magnet so you can do this all in one sweep but you can also use Cerebro independently. You can see it is the fourth tab down the left here. If you guys aren't subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel. That way you can see all those other sessions if you wanna get familiar with all these different tools as you build up your products. So here, what we can do in the top product section is we can actually select any of these. And remember, we're using our example product, this one here, a wind speed meter, this anemometer. And in Magnet, we've done a keyword search for Anemometer. And when we've done that, it's brought up our top competing products as well. So we did have all our keyword research down here, but it's also brought up our top products for that specific keyword. And if we click on any of those, it actually opens a Cerebro tab with that ASIN over here. You can see it's dropped in here. And you can also come to Cerebro independent of that and drop in any ASIN here. You can find your competitors on Amazon and drop in their ASINs right here. And now what we can do is we can actually say get keywords to do a reverse ASIN search and collect all these keywords from this listing that we put in here. You can choose exact ASIN match if you wish. What this will do is avoid Helium 10 pulling keywords from any other variations of this listing. But I'm going to keep that open for now and we're going to click on get keywords. You can see it's loaded here and it's brought up the ASIN we're looking at. A distribution of keywords between our icons which we've discussed in previous sessions are frequently brought together. This is critical for differentiation, potential bundle options looking at complementary items as well. So that's key and you can look into those as well, but that's a different session. Word frequency is again how often individual words come up on this listing. Then when we look down here, we can start to filter our big list of keywords below. You can see we have three, almost 3,000 keywords in here that it's pulled off of this listing. And obviously that is a huge amount to scroll through. So what we can do is narrow that way down. Now remember from our other session in Magnet, we have our top 50 super relevant high search volume keywords. And now we're using this just to make sure we haven't left any gaps. So what you can do to filter these is input a minimum search volume. It's going to be very dependent though on how much search volume your market has. If you're in a market where the, the search volumes here are like 40,000, obviously then your minimum is going to have to be much higher. But in this market, I'm going to put in a minimum of 200 search volume. In other words, I don't want it to show me any keywords that aren't typed in by customers at least 200 times to Amazon per month. Also, I'm going to filter by organic rank you can see that for every keyword it's returned in this far right column, it tells us where this listing is ranking organically for that keyword. And since we've chosen our longest standing competitor, which I recommend again here, because remember, if they've been on Amazon for, the long, for a longer period of time, they will have more information that you can extract. This competitor has probably run more PPC than other competitors, for example. Looking at organic rank, we can establish where this listing ranks. And if they rank number one, and we're doing a similar product to them, that's great for us. We know that this is a keyword that we are probably going to convert for because customers are typing that in and purchasing this product, and that's why it's organic one so we know we could rank very well for it so organic rank is going to go down from here you'll see if i jump to page five quickly you'll see the organic rank might be there we go so nine and ten so on these keywords it's in position nine or ten it's still on page one but what we can do to filter the results based on organic rank is put in a maximum organic rank so i could for example say i don't want it to return any keywords which this 
competitor is not ranking less than 15 for. So only if they're ranking below number 15 on page one, do I wanna see that keyword. That tells me it's much more relevant to our product and helps us narrow down to the very best keywords this competitor ranks for. And lastly, again, word count. Remember, if you do need one word keywords to be returned, that has to be on one, not two. We're gonna leave match type blank and no Amazon choice here. And we are also not going to exclude any phrases in this case or add specific phrases. So we have a minimum search volume of 200, a word count of one and a max organic rank of 15 and we can apply. So you can see it's brought that number down from 3000 to about 460, which is still a lot of keywords, but much more manageable. And now what we can do is actually move through these specific results. For this search, I recommend you leave it on organic rank low to high. That is the default, but you can also select that here. That way we're looking at the keywords for which this listing is ranking in position one and then in position two, etc. These are extremely relevant keywords. We know customers type them in and purchase this product. And as a result, Amazon is ranking them very, very close to the top of results. And these are keywords we definitely wanna follow. The biggest value you're also gonna find in this is that you're gonna find more niche keywords. They might be a little bit lower search volume, but they very targeted and resulting in a lot of sales. And you don't wanna miss those. You might have missed them in Magnet, for example, if you're doing if you're cutting off the search volume at some point. So that's where this is gonna be valuable. And I do think you wanna keep the search volume a little more open here. You don't mind lower search volume on this tool. So we can see here, wind meter, they're in position one. If you see this de-highlighted, it means someone else has the Amazon Choice badge. If you see the Amazon Choice badge come up like this, it means they actually have Amazon Choice badge for that keyword, which means they sell very, very well for that keyword. So looking at the list, wind meter, very nice search volume score here, and also very nice IQ score as well. This is quite a high IQ score. So competing products versus search volume is quite good for us in this instance. And you can see we're in organic position one for this competing listing. So it's very relevant. This will probably be a title keyword. Then we have wind reader. So just a different way, wind meter, wind reader, wind monitor. We're probably gonna see a few of those. Also a very good thing to have with products, by the way, if you have different ways that that product is found, it often results in a lot of PPC savings because not everyone's bidding so aggressively on one or two keywords. There's multiple ways for the customer to find the product and that results in cost savings kind of across the board. So we can see here, wind speed anemometer, nice long tail, extremely relevant quite a good search volume on such a specific keyword there. Reasonably high IQ score, also organic position one. Down here you can see sailing accessories. That's a really good example of a keyword or key phrase that's not specifically for our product, but is targeting the customers who would purchase our product. And then we can see Anemometer, our main keyword, 8,000 IQ score, this is a very, very strong keyword. This will definitely be in our title, probably close to the beginning of the title. Then we can see Anemometer handheld. So a nice broad match of that keyword. In fact, this competitor may have found that through a broad match campaign. And that's where you're gonna see massive value in reverse ASIN searches with Cerebro. And this is also a good example of keyword hinging for, this is in fact a better one, handheld Anemometer. So for example, in the title, you have very limited space and we want Anemometer in there, but why not get handheld Anemometer in there? That's keyword hinging. We're actually getting two keywords in there for one. It's two birds, one stone. Now with these results, I recommend you export them in two ways. Number one is to export the full list. That's gonna ensure you have all your keywords. We've already narrowed them down, but we know these are super relevant to our product and they do work on Amazon to some extent. So I would export all of these to Excel or CSV and then go through this list again and narrow it once again down to about 50 keywords, 30 to 50 of the most powerful keywords here. Again, you're looking for organic rank one is important and then higher search volume is your next criteria point on choosing those. And then we have 
another set of 30 to 50 keywords that we can use for keyword inclusion on the listing. And this way you also have this nice long list of keywords which you can use in PPC campaigns as you get your product moving. So we did this with one competitor, but remember you could do it with multiple as well if you really wanna cover your bases. But by this point through Magnet and Cerebro, you should have all the keywords necessary to index your listing properly with Amazon and rank that listing to make sales, to help your customers find your listing and make sales. Hope you guys enjoyed the session. If you did, please like this video. Remember, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.